process he used in his White House. If he took a document from someone, had the Oval Office, sent the person responsible for that document home, took the document into the uh, Oval Office, he ordered that it would be declared declassified. Under the executive orders, and I'm sure you'll have legal experts on later on to talk about this, the order is pretty clear. The president is exempt from the normal way that you declassify documents. And I know you, you probably spoke with numerous people that were aware of that policy. How many people confirmed that? Not many in the Trump. There are a few people that I have talked to that said that. I'm not going to dispute that. That's what went on. I can't talk much because it's an ongoing investigation. Uh, it may not have been known by a lot of people. Most likely the chief of staff, maybe uh, the staff secretary might know. Because remember, the but staff there are people that traffic. did confirm it for you. They did. It wasn't just the president's a statement. I've heard this for about, well, actually, first in February, but it didn't mean much to me in the last few days. It now makes a lot more sense. Now yeah. we'll have to find out. We're, we're, who else knew about it? I'm sure the FBI is in the process of doing that. But at least now we have the president's account, not leaked stories in the Washington Post and New York Times. We have the president's direct account. We asked the question, how did you declassify him? He's answered that right. tonight. John Solomon, great reporting. Editor-in-chief, justthenews.com. Thank you. Here with me.